Hey, this is Bob from Skills Drum Lessons, and welcome to another episode of Practicing Drums Anywhere, Practice Drumming Anywhere. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, what is called the, the molar technique, and the molar technique is usually taught with drumsticks, and you watch the tip of the stick and you go like, well, it is an essential uh, move to, to, to get better at dynamics at higher speeds. That's, that's why we all need to learn or, or have the idea down of what the molar technique is. We basically all have to learn the molar technique. But we don't have to do it with sticks. In fact, I see better results with students practicing this without sticks at first than I see with students practicing this with sticks. And the, the thing is, you, you got to get your shoulder into play. You know, that's the, that's the main goal. And that's the weird thing in, in the beginning. Like, you, you learn dynamics and you play it like this from the wrists. Or possibly if you, you enjoyed the series so far, you can do with some dynamics from well, the biceps, triceps area, motion from the elbow down. But once you get the shoulder in, it becomes really weird. Like, what? Chicken dance? You know? Feels, feels off. Feel, feels weird. And that is because it is weird in the beginning. So that's why I like to concentrate really on, on the shoulder motion first. You know, don't get the sticks involved and the grip and blah, blah, blah. The, 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 too, too, um, well, too much thinking, really. So what you want to do is really, really simple. We'll, we'll make it a molar too. You, you can get more basic than that in, in, in the case of a molar technique. So what we'll do is we'll keep the, the shoulders out by getting the hands to do this and so you, you're going to be perpendicular to your upper leg and then you're going to be parallel sort of parallel to uh, to your upper leg uh, on your hip and this is going to be the accent this is going to be the upstroke so you're going to hit this with your fingertips this one with your whole hand you can start out with one hands or two that doesn't really matter uh, I would say just do two, you know, why not? And the idea is to go one, two, one, two. You go like accent and then non-accented note. And so one, two, one, two, one, two. As we go faster, then the amplitude will, will reduce will be reduced. It's an automatic thing. Um, in the beginning we can really stress and exaggerate the movements in order to get used to it really fast. And as we progress in speed, then well automatically the, the, the range of motion will become less and less. And now you get the molar technique. That's just it. Now if you want to study molar in three, be my guest, you just go like one, two, three, one, two, three, so what I do now is I add a second one in between those notes, which we just had, like parallel, perpendicular, and this one is sort of in half there. So you go like oblique, you know, like this is parallel, one, oblique, perpendicular, one, two, three. And you can do it slower, of course. That's it. Slowly pick up the pace. And it's a really good move to get it going. Now, once you do this and you get this uh, going in, in like a few days, just uh, practice this for like one or two minutes each day, then see what you're capable of doing in like a week time. You, you won't believe what you're feeling. And also with sticks, I mean, right? Next time you pick up sticks and you go like, whoa, this was easy. That, that's the, the real benefit of practicing like this. So, hope it was helpful. If it was, then give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel because there will be loads more videos like this. And you'll get notified when I upload the next one tomorrow. And uh, if you're interested in getting more, then well, I can really recommend getting the 3D drumming system and becoming a premium member 
at a very nice discount, depending on when you're watching this video, of course. Anyway, hope this, uh, this helped. I had lots of fun practicing and see you in the next one.